So next up we got the MIDI track. Just press on plus, press on MIDI, give it a name, uh, just MIDI and add track. Here it is down below. You can think of the MIDI track as a smaller version of the instrument track because on the instrument track here we also have MIDI files or MIDI data which we can put here on the MIDI track. We can just pull that down. But instead of the instrument track where we have loaded an instrument, when we play this, nothing happens. But you see this spike, this signal here. So something is going on, but you don't hear any sound. And these MIDI tracks, you can think of them as controller tracks for other instruments, for example. So what we can do here, let's pretend there are no MIDI notes on this instrument track here. So we can, for example, say, okay, dear MIDI track, please go into that 808 track here. So we route the output of the MIDI track into the input of the instrument track. And you can see this is the input here, what goes into the MIDI track. That is all MIDI inputs, for example, my keyboard or other sources here. You can just exclusively select a source. And here you have the output. So we just said go into the instrument track. So if we press play now, we can hear that this signal has been sent into the instrument track into the 808. And this is just a brief example of what you can do with MIDI tracks. There are tons of other functions and you will get to know them once you start producing with Cubase.